Um, I've been driving this for a couple days, just doing test drives, and um, I found it's very fun to drive. Yeah, it definitely had some get up and go just right there. Oh yeah, it definitely pulls. <laughs> You'll be able to gauge, but it's uh, very sporty comparing to the Bolt. Okay. Like, uh, you'll be impressed with it. Okay. Um, it's all like electric, this one? All electric. Okay. Do you want me to go through it all? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so just the classic EV, you know, information, range, nearby mm -hmm. stations, energy. Okay. Um, you know, standard stuff. With this, you have three drive modes, eco, normal, and sport. Okay. Uh, I keep it on sport because it doesn't limit you to anything. Mm -hmm. um, and you have options for your regen. I keep it at full. Mm -hmm. Just when pe when test driving, it's good to give people the full EV experience. So that's similar, uh, level three is similar to like the L mode and the yes, Bolt? Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, the cool thing about this car is you uh, can adjust the regen while you're driving with the paddle shifters. Oh, okay. So if you see while I shift into drive here, I can adjust it on the, just under the speedometer there. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Um, I like to keep it at full, just as okay. a pre personal preference. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, a fairly heavy regen, so something to get used to. Similar to like the i3? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, depending on the scenario that you're driving, it's mm -hmm. good to adjust. I know like for high, highway driving, you don't have to, where you just kind of want to be relaxed on the pedal. Yeah. Uh, it's good to scale it down to maybe level one. Okay. Sometimes even zero. Yep. Um, you have a lot of buttons here to adjust stuff like drive mode. You can adjust the drive mode while you're driving. Okay. That um, when you're in eco, it limits you to a speed. Yep. I think it's 100, and then you are you can't use the max settings for heat and air conditioning. Okay. Yeah. Um, other, other than that, I find it's a very sporty feeling car. All right. Um, because you are a little bit lower than the Bolt and Leaf, mm -hmm. um, it does have- And the i3. And the i3. Yeah. Just because you're, this is designed off of a you know a compact car mm -hmm. platform, mm -hmm. it uh, it feels a little different than the other cars. Okay. Uh, I've been driving this for a couple days, just doing test drives, and um, I've found it's very fun to drive. Yeah, it definitely had some get up and go just right there. Oh yeah, it definitely pulls. <laughs> yeah, and you even saw there like it, it is wet, but mm -hmm. you know what. 40 kilometers an hour is having some traction problems. Yeah. So it definitely has the torque, mm -hmm. um, which is nice. Especially, this is a base model car. Like, uh, it sells for $35,000 Canadian. Okay. Uh, with the Ontario incentive, $14,000 off. Yep. So it comes to 21000 And getting in a 2018 for 21000 is very yeah. reasonable. Yeah. And again, if you were to buy a comparable sized car, you wouldn't have the power and the fun, yeah. sporty aspect. So I, that's why I think, you know, that's one thing electric cars have over consumer vehicles is mm -hmm. that even with their base models, there's still tons of fun to drive. Yeah. Um, and I think that's one thing that the public's kind of picking up on now is, wow, for an entry level car, it's still a fun car. Yeah. I, I think it had to take um, Tesla to kind of come up with a car that was like, sort of had the sex appeal that some of the other plugins didn't. Um, yeah. And yeah, they're at a higher price point. Yeah, you would expect to have some fun in a car mm -hmm. that's fifty thousand, whereas mm -hmm. this is twenty. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, that's in Ontario. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is a fun car. Oh, absolutely. I will admit, and even for a Hyundai, they're typically lower end. But mm -hmm. um, um, I'm impressed so far. It, it's got it's got a very nice trim level. Yeah. All the it's all very the smooth. Yeah. The suspension's great. Yeah. Like the i3 kind of jerked you around on some of these mm -hmm. potholes and the the manhole covers. Yeah. Um, or is this everything, like I said, it's an electric car built off a, yeah. a gasoline platform. Yeah. So that's nice. And yeah, the dimensions are nice. Like the back mm -hmm. seat's comfortable. You don't feel like you're in a you know weird uh, yep. compact hatchback or something. But And that's what I've, I've gotten a lot of positive reviews from the test drivers. Mm -hmm. Are the seats heated? Yeah, you can get, I think it comes standard with heat seats including the back. Okay. Um, and I believe you have heated steering wheel on this car as well. Okay. Um, so the screen's a little small. It, yeah, um, comparing. Compared to like the Prius Prime or... Yeah. Um, One thing I Bolt. like is that there's not too many sub-menus with this yep. car. Whereas, I don't know if you noticed on the Prius Prime, there's a lot of menus. Yeah. Um, and for a new driver, it might be a little different to get used to. Yeah. I mean, I, I've had mine for um, like 32,000 miles right now. And I still find myself getting lost. 
What's the all electric range? Uh, 200k, as okay. advertised. Okay. Um, but again, so like 120 miles. Yeah. Okay. So real quick before we switch, because we're switching over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you're involved with a startup right now. Yeah. So uh, I'll continue driving for a bit. Okay. Um, so I'm working with a startup company called the Switch. Mm -hmm. Spelled S W T C H. Okay. Um, you can find us at switchev.ca. And what we're doing is creating a peer to peer electric vehicle charging network. Okay. Uh, we're based out of Toronto, so we're kind of with a focus on Ontario right now. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, Ontario is kind of spearheading the electric car movement in Canada. Yeah. So it's kind of the right place to be. Mm -hmm. And um, similar to a, a peer to peer net or network, just like Airbnb, if you have mm -hmm. a charger at your business, at your home, mm -hmm. um, at your property, you can uh, make it available to the public through our platform and monetize it. So um, we've been seeing interest with some homeowners, some property yeah. owners, business owners. For a, lot, for a lot of chargers or owners right now, uh, their issue is if they make their charger available to the public, mm -hmm. they have no way to recover the cost of electricity. So they're losing money by providing a service to the community. Okay. Um, so this is a way to uh, incentivize that and kind of grow the adoption rate mm -hmm. of EVs through uh, a more diverse charging uh, platform. Okay, so switchev.ca. Yeah. Okay, and are you going to come to the United States as well? Uh, eventually, eventually, but we're kind of focusing on Ontario right now. Okay. But uh, hopefully in the future. All right. Uh, we've got locations all over, Can or a couple locations spread out across Canada right now, so hopefully in the future we'll see more of that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that's awesome. That's it. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks, Thomas. And yeah. uh, I guess we're going to uh, switch seats now and yeah. give you'll, me a chance to yeah, test drive it. Yeah, you'll get a chance to play around. So. Okay. All right. Thank All you. Right.